Hi everyone, this is Arun Reddy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Arun Reddy Tech for you. Coming to our topic, we are going to discuss about C++ basic input and output. Okay, so there are a lot of input output operations or input output functions in C++. But today we are going to discuss basic input output, which is C in and C out. Okay, so let us move right. So if you are new to my uh, new to my uh, video and if you want to learn C++ you can go through my channel playlist in channel playlist you can find playlist called C++ where remaining videos are available and if you want the same video in a uh, Telugu you can also uh, find a folder called C++ in Telugu okay and uh, if you want to learn other subjects like DBMS C Python VBA MS Word PowerPoint you can also go through my channel playlist and you can find the different folders right so let us move to our topic. So our topic is C++ basic input output. Okay. So let us first start with the output. Okay. So C++ output. Okay. In C++, C out sends formatted output to standard output device such as screen. So screen or monitor, we will say it as, uh, right. So C++ sends formatted output to standard output device. What is a standard output device? Monitor, right? Okay. So such as screen. That is nothing but a screen, right? So what you are saying here, C out what it will do, it will show the output on the screen, right? So we use C out object along with the extraction operator. So you can see here, there's a symbols, right? So these symbols are called as extraction operators for displaying output. So to display the output, we require this extraction operators. So let us see how it, it will work, okay? First, uh, how does this program works? The basic thing is, First, include a IO stream header file that allows us to display. So IO stream input output stream. Okay. So the, it is must. For example, if you are writing in the Turbo C++, you have to write IO stream dot h. And if you are writing in the uh, Dev C++, you will have to write IO stream. Right. And uh, next, C out objects is defined inside the std namespace. Okay. So standard. Right. So to use this std namespace, we use using namespace std statement. See, you can see here, I've given using namespace std. Okay. And uh, this is required only in the dev C++ and using namespace std, you doesn't need to write in the turbo C++. Right. Turbo C++, you can write uh, as include conio.h because their um, turbo C++ will not clean screen uh, regularly and uh, it will not show the output until you give the clear screen and get ch so for that it is mandatory in dev c++ it uh, automatically gives the output and it will clear uh, clear the previous history so you doesn't need to write conio.h clear screen and uh, get ch right okay right next c out is an object that print the string inside the quotation marks okay so it is followed by the extraction operator so what you are saying for example if you write c out extraction operator and something you wrote in the quotation it will consider as statement so it will print as it is so here it will print this is the c++ program as it is right next for example sorry for example to print the numbers and character variables we use same c out object but without using quotation c for example you have taken int number is equal to number one is equal to 70 double number two is equal to 256.789 that is nothing but a float or real number right so character ch is equal to a so when when you say con c out without quotation if you are writing number one then it will con it will understand that number one is a variable so it will not print number one as it is but it will print 70 so got the point see, best example is you can see here so when i say quotation character it will print as it is character when i say ch with without quotation i didn't use ch in the quotation right so it will print the a if you write here in the quotation it will print as it is ch if you don't use the quotation it will print the a see remember so if you write the quotations it will print as it is it will consider as string and if you don't write then it will consider as variable and it will print the value of the variable instead of the variable name right okay next see the endl manipulator is used in to insert in a new line that's why every output is displayed in the new line see in the c out we will also use the endl why we use this endl means it will make the cursor move to the next line so uh, for example 70 it will print after printing 70 it will not print uh, 256.783 beside the 70 so instead of that it will print on the next line why it is doing so because we use endl endl what it will do it will move the cursor to the next line right next see 
the extraction operator can be used more than once if we want to print different variable string and so on in single statement for example see one two three three times i have used extraction operator for example i want to print first character then a variable then endl endl is nothing but a i want in next line for example if you want next also something you want to print string then you can use quotation again again uh, again you can use extraction operator again you can use a variable or a string right so you can use the extraction operator multiple times right so what it will do it will help us to uh, join different different uh, text okay for example you can see a character and it will print a character is a nice right okay so let us move to the next okay after that we'll see the program in the next let us move to the input operator okay scene yes in c++ scene takes formatted input form standard input device which one it is keyboard such as keyboard right so we use scene object along with the insertion operator for taking input so what we use insertion operator scene and insertion operator so if you want to give something input from the keyboard so which one we have to use scene with the insertion operator okay sorry oh, for example in the program we use to take input from the user okay so input is stored in the variable num we use the insertion operator with scene to take input so what you are saying for example see um, uh, instead of number num in num is equal to 5 what i have done i have taken scene now what scene will do for example if i write number is equal to 5 the same result i will get every time right so it will be static so instead of that i want to make uh, the value uh, value dynamic so what can i do i will use scene num so the cursor will now wait in the output uh, where we will get the output screen right so there the cursor will wait for the value okay so when you enter a value automatically what it will do it will uh, for example you have entered 10 so 10 will be assigned to the num so what cn is doing it is assigning a value to a variable right okay so this is how input will work so let us see a small example so you can understand easily right now we are in the dev c++ and i have taken a sample program so for first I have started with the as include IO stream because IO stream contains the scene and see out. Okay. And I have also used using namespace std. If I don't use again, it will not work or else I have to write std, std scope resolution see out. Right. So instead of that, I have written. Okay. And again, using namespace std in the JOC++, you doesn't need to write in the turbo C++. Turbo C++, you doesn't need to write using namespace std. Right. Okay. So let me save this and let me run the program. Okay, so no errors, very good. Okay, so let me uh, run. And uh, you can see here, welcome to C++. What it is giving? Welcome to C++. That means whatever you have given in the quotation, it will print as it is. For example, let me take a uh, value int, I'll take a value as a int a is equal to five. So now I've taken five. I want to print five. So how to print five? I'll just write here a. See, remember, I am I am not giving quotations. If I give quotation, it will print as it is A. So I want the value of A, that is 5, right? So now let us run and see how it will work. Compile. Run. Nice. Now you can see, welcome to C++. Okay, I will just see in the statement. It look odd, right? So the value of, sorry, I didn't check the... Uh, statement value of a is okay right let me save let me compile and let me run okay so when i run program see the value of a is 5 right so when i give something in the quotation it is printing as it is but when i uh, didn't give any quotations what happens it is considering the uh, uh, the uh, sorry it is considering as a variable and it uh, it, uh, it is understood sorry it understood that it is a variable and it is printing the value of variable right so when you give in the so when you give so any text in the quotation what it will do it will print as it is right okay now let us see input see in how it will work for example i don't i don't want to take five because every time it will print five right so instead of that i will take see in see in what it will do it will help us to take the value in the output screen right okay so let me save 
let me compile and let me run right so see the cursor is waiting for the value when i say 10 now 10 will be stored in num right if i click enter see so not num a right so and uh, the value of a is 5 uh, sorry 10 so now every time it is changing right right so whenever i run uh, it is asking uh, a value okay and we can also give a clue here for example when you run the program your cursor is waiting then you will not understand why cursor is waiting right we can give a clue here right so enter a value that means you have to enter a value so it will uh, help us to remind that you have to enter a value right okay so now let us see if i run this save compile and run right now see enter a value enter a value okay not a value a value okay five i will enter five so see the value of a is five for example something you want to print in the next line you can also use endl here so for example here if i write endl again right i i said extraction operator you can use multiple times so let me see this one how it will work compile and uh, run so when i run see i will enter six see the value of a is c it is printing in the next line that means endl what it is doing it is moving the cursor to the next line right right so friends i hope you understood the video and uh, please do like and subscribe my video thank you